Hi everyone, it's Alina Wilson from Exact Meet Mastery for today's Tuesday Tech Tip. Today I'm going to be discussing how to attach code documents, your GC license, you know, a specific code for an area if you want to, all to the back end of the Xactimate report whenever you create your PDF. And so the big shout out to Robert C. Piella in Illinois. He's the one who's asked me about this and jogged my memory. So I want to go ahead and get this tutorial created uh, because we have specific people that are asking for it. So this is a really uh, good one for those of you who are constantly sending in the same code over and over again to maybe State Farm or uh, USAA when they ask for, you know, valley underlayment or ice and water shield, whatever it is that you need to add as code documentation, you can add to the end of the report so it's all in one place. So let me show you how this works. And it's quite a few steps. So either take notes or, you know, type up a little Word doc or something as we go through this because there are quite a few steps here and I'll try to take it a little bit slower than I normally go. So I am in the estimate and I'm going to go to the print section. So top right corner you've got your print. Then we're going to go to report macros. Okay, report macros. As you, if you've been watching my channel for a while or receiving my videos, I'm all about macros, right? Lists of things that save us time. So of course we have line item macros. This is going to be a report macro that we create. And that way we have a list of reports or codes or what have you that we can use repeatedly over and over and save us time. So the first thing I'm going to do, I don't have any in here. I deleted mine out so we can start with a fresh slate. So under report macros, we are going to go to add. And here's where it gets a little counterintuitive. So follow the, uh, with me uh, pretty closely along on this. So notice here I have the report type drop down list. Okay, so just in case this doesn't auto populate on your screen, you want your estimate reports. And the most common one that I run and use all the time is my final draft without removal depreciation. So if you use a different one, that's fine. But you do want your report to be the first thing on the list. So I'm going to go ahead and select Add here. Then I'm going to drop down under Report Type and go to Template Documents. And this is where you're going to be able to add your own file. So I have my ice and water for the valley code here. And so I can go ahead and highlight that then click add. Notice how it goes below the report and that's why I say to add the report first or else you'd lead off with your code document and it would look really funny. All right. So as you can see, again, oh, I cleared it. Let me go back. I, this took me a couple tries to get this exactly right. So mess around with it. It does take a couple of tries to get this right, but once you do, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so there we go. We're going to add that back. I hit clear and it cleared everything up. Now I would like to load a document that isn't under the template documents. It hasn't been loaded at all to the program yet, and you can do that here under add file. So I can just pick a file here. Let's go to the desktop, and I want the Florida Renail code. And there it is. I can open that and then it can be added on the fly. So it doesn't have to be saved here under template doc documents. You can go ahead and just add a new file. And then of course you need to name it. So I'm going to name it final draft with Florida Renail. That way I know that it's for that specific area and I've got what I needed. Of course, this could be in a very extensive list. This is shortened just for the sake of time, but uh, you get the idea. So I'm going to left click OK and then it should come in here. You can see it's been added. First thing you need to do is highlight it. I'm not sure if you saw that, but it was not highlighted when I came in here. You do have to click on it instead of, now we're going to use this instead of the other report type over here in estimate reports. Okay, just to to show you, you're not going to be using this screen at all. You are going to be use the, using the report macro screen. And then we're going to make sure this guy is highlighted here. We're going to click off convert to PDF and merge reports. Two very important checkboxes. If they're not checked, you're not going to get the results that we're going to see here in just a second. All right, so I could view this which I'm going to do, uh, just to give you a preview of what it's going to look like. And you should see here all of my code documents are now added at the end of the report. And this is great for also adding your general contractor's license to every report so that you don't have to send that up and get lost with all the other attachments that you're going to send. This is a great way to have everything in just one PDF document ready to go. So I could then go to export to get this out of the program and ready to email. And we're just going to call it test here and save and then let's go and pick that up just to take a look and make sure that it did in fact um, create the PDF in the way that it did 
And there we go. Our, um, of course, exact mate estimate is above. And here's all of my different code documents, my valley, uh, my ice and water shield uh, for valleys there. And then you've got your Florida renail. All right, so that is very, very useful if you're trying to have everything in one single document rather than emailing up, you know, 10 different code documents and them getting lost or uh, just disorganized on the insurance carrier side. So that's how you do it. And again, from here on out, let me close this and I'll save and exit my estimate. We are going to go ahead and use this going forward. So if I have a new estimate that I've written, it will be saved under print. Again, you're going to have to start ignoring the estimate reports options and go straight over to report macros. There it is. And now I could do my two checkboxes, export this, and now this guy has the same report template same code documents attached as the previous one. So once you create your report macros, they are there for you to use going forward. You don't have to keep doing it over and over again. Also, you can create many different macros, for maybe one for each municipality that you're working with a different code document. So that is how you attach documents to your Xactimate PDF report. My name is Alina Wilson from Xactimate Mastery. If you want tips like this in your inbox every Tuesday, visit our website over here. I'll put a link uh, to our blog site and uh, you can receive the Tuesday Tech Tips every week. See you soon.